Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop. Today I want to take you to a teaching of Jesus that I believe will make your day better, and even more than that, I believe it will make your life better. In Mark chapter 11, Jesus has been teaching on prayer, and at the end of that teaching, he slips in a final word about forgiveness. It's in Mark chapter 11, verse 25. Jesus said this, And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. I want you to see something very important about what Jesus is saying. Jesus is not just teaching about forgiveness. He's teaching that a failure to forgive will actually create problems in your prayer life. So I just want to ask you right now to think about this question. Is there anyone in your life that you have not forgiven? Is there anyone that you're holding a grudge against? Now, before you answer this, I need you to know something about forgiveness. Forgiveness has not taken place until the relationship has been restored. Now, you can't force someone to have a relationship with you, but you can do everything within your power to restore the relationship to what it was before it was broken. And so let me ask you, Have you forgiven your father who walked out on you when you were little? Have you forgiven your business partner who cheated you out of money? Have you forgiven the pervert who stole your purity? Have you forgiven the spouse who betrayed you and broke their vows to you? In his book, Spirit-Filled Jesus, Mark Driscoll wrote that it's hypocrisy to be forgiven but to not be forgiving. And I think that's why our failure to forgive hinders our prayers. God doesn't want us to be hypocritical. Today, I want to challenge you to forgive because that's what Jesus did. While Jesus was dying on a cross, he prayed, and this is what he said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. If Jesus could forgive those who killed him, then you can forgive those who hurt you. Now that you know Jesus a little better, I hope that you will live like him a little more.